from the from the tire body itself which of course you know can cause accidents so it is very important that consumers check the last four digits of the DOT number to know which week and which year the tire was manufactured and be safe within a six-year period. As consumers, you need to know about the product being sold to you, and this information should be provided by proper labeling. In the case of tires, date of manufacturing, maximum inflating pressure, traction, tread wear, maximum load capacity per tire, speed rating, temperature resistance, and tire size. Motorists should never exceed the stated maximum tire inflation pressure. This, coupled with high-speed driving, increases the heat level at which tires are damaged. Remember too, that tires graded for high traction allow you to stop your vehicle on a wet road in a shorter distance than a tire with lower grade. Be in the know. Next time you're rolling, make sure you take the necessary safety precautions. Avoid used, damaged or expired tires. Mark our word, standards can work for you. Look out for our next feature when we'll continue to look at the role of the BSJ in maintaining high standards in Jamaica. For further information, call BSJ at 926-314025 or email info at bsj.org.jm. Did you know that washing your hands regularly can protect you from contracting the influenza A H1N1 virus? It's important to wash your hands with soap and water as you may touch surfaces contaminated with the flu virus. Always maintain high levels of personal hygiene before and after food preparation and especially when using sanitary conveniences. A message from the Jamaica Information Service, the voice of Jamaica. Have you heard the latest street buzz? Jamaica has a new bill, the $5,000 note. The bill bears the portrait of former Prime Minister Hugh Lawson Shearer on one side and Highway 2000 on the reverse. The $5,000 joins the $1,000, $500, $100 and $50 notes in circulation. More than a century ago, the nation received its own currency. Since then, the color, shape and feature of Jamaica's coins and bills have evolved from those highlighting the British monarch to that of colorful representations of the island's treasures. Money is an object regularly accepted in exchange for goods and services. It serves as a standard and store of value. Coins, paper money or banknotes as they are referred to, Checks and plastic cards, as well as debit or credit cards, are all forms of modern-day currency. The Bank of Jamaica's Money Museum provides an archival history of the nation's currency. The Bank of Jamaica Money Museum was opened in November 1999 and it's divided into two galleries, the first featuring the development of money the world over, how money is made today, how many money was made then. We have a little brief segment on counterfeiting, of course we don't teach you how to counterfeit money. And the second gallery features the development of Jamaican money. The earliest to trade objects to be used in Jamaica date back to prehistoric times when Amerindians called Tainas inhabited the island. These Tainas traded objects such as beads made of stone, bone or shell, zemis or idols, and gold discs called guanines. The first coins to be widely used in Jamaica were Spanish copper coins. These copper coins were used when Jamaica was ruled by Spain. British coins were first introduced in 1822. These coins were nicknamed Anchor Money 
as they featured an anchor on the obverse, that's the front. Other types of British coins which some old folks talk about were tiny silver penny half penny. Probably your four parents presented it as an offering at church. The penny a penny was also valued at a quarter of the Spanish silver dollar and the little coin was eventually nicknamed the Christian Quati. Pennies, a pennies or half penny and fardens were the first coins to be minted exclusively for Jamaica. The pennies and a pennies were struck in 1869 while the fardens were struck in 1880. Their design featured the British monarch on the obverse and the Jamaican crest on the reverse. Four fardens equaled one penny. The fardens were last minted in 1952, while the pennies and a pennies continued in circulation until 1969. First bank notes issued in Jamaica during the 19th century were from private banks. The Colonial Bank being the first bank to issue notes in Jamaica, which eventually became the Barclays Bank, Dominion Colonial and Overseas. And here you are seeing a one pound note dated 1938 uh, that was used in Kingston, Jamaica specifically. Each note carried the name and emblem of the issuing bank. Commercial banks supplied banknotes in Jamaica until 1940. The currency note laws of 1937 gave the government full responsibility for issuing banknotes in the island. The first government of Jamaica banknotes were released in 1920. They were the 5 shillings, 10 shillings, the 1 pound and the 5 pound note. An important currency change took place on September 8, 1969, as the island's monetary system was changed from pounds, shillings and pence to a decimal system of dollars and cents. The first of the decimal coins were the 1 cent, 5 cent, 10 cent, 20 cent and 25 cent, while the first decimal notes were the 50 cent, 1 dollar, 2 dollar and 10 dollar. Go ye therefore and spend your Jamaican dollars. A Bills, the Manly, the Nanny. Wonder what will be the street name for the $5,000. And this is where we'll have to close the pages of Jamaica Magazine today. Tune in again tomorrow for another informative and interesting edition. And remember, this and other programs can be viewed online at www.jis.gov.jm. While you're at it, give us your feedback at jamaicamagazine at jis.gov.jm. On behalf of the team here at the JIS, I am Alison Watson. Have a great evening. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service. The, the voice, voice of, of Jamaica. Jamaica.